Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. If you've towed trailers in the past, you're already aware of the problems associated with trailer plugs and connectors. Dirty and corroded connectors, bent blades, and broken plug covers all result in trailer lights and brakes not operating properly. This is not only frustrating to deal with, but it's also a huge safety concern. I can't tell you how many times I've taken trailer plugs apart to clean and repair the connection so the lights and brakes operate properly prior to leaving on an RV trip. Those days are over thanks to the Easy Connector trailer plug. I met the owner at a trade show and was impressed with this product from the moment I first saw it. It even won the Best New Product Award at SEMA for pickups, vans, and SUVs. The Easy Connector trailer plug offers spring-loaded face-to-face contacts. They are sealed using O-rings so it is waterproof and corrosion-free and the plug is held together tightly magnetically. Just look at that connection. The RV connector is the last trailer plug you'll ever have to buy. Now let me show you just how easy it is to install. There are two installation methods depending on what works best for your situation. On late model vehicles that come wired from the factory with a plug-in connector, you can install your Easy Connector plug using the Easy Connector plug and play connector kit. For early model vehicles, or a vehicle that the factory plug was tampered with, you can hardwire your Easy Connector plug directly into your vehicle's wiring harness. Today we'll be converting a standard 7-way plug to an Easy Connector plug using the Easy Connector Plug and Play Connector Kit. The first step is to remove the existing plug from the tow vehicle. Remove the mounting bolts, the old plug assembly, and unplug the factory plug wiring harness. Now plug the vehicle wiring harness directly into the Easy Connector plug and reinstall the mounting bolts. That finishes the vehicle installation. Now we can get started on the trailer plug. This is the Easy Connector 7-pin heavy-duty plug we'll be installing on the trailer, and this is the plug holder we'll install to store the plug in when we're not using it. Very cool. Keep in mind, when you are making electrical connections, the plug is only as good as your connections. Make sure your electrical connections are strong and protected from the elements and from corrosion. Let's get started. Determine the desired length of cable by holding it up where it will be mounted on the vehicle and marking it. Longer is always better in this situation. Excess cable can be coiled and tied whereas too short of a cable is unworkable. Strip three to four inches of the insulation off the cable. It's a good idea to stagger cut the lengths of the individual wires so all the butt connectors don't end up in the same area, causing a large knot and preventing the shrink tubing from sliding over the connections. Now strip the individual wires 5 16 to 3 8 of an inch. Determine the vehicle's wiring configuration. Keep in mind that your vehicle wire color coding may not match the plugs or the trailers, so it's important that you test the circuits using a test light or voltmeter and the vehicle's owner's manual to determine which color matches which circuit. Write down which color wire you will be connecting to each of the socket wires. Place the piece of the larger 3 quarter inch shrink tubing over the cable and slide it up out of your way. Cut the long piece of quarter inch shrink tubing into seven equal pieces. Place one section over each of the seven wires prior to making any connections. Match up each of the wires and pair by pair place the stripped ends into opposite sides of an electrical butt connector. Use the larger butt connectors for the larger diameter wires. Crimp the connector making a good connection and pull test to ensure its integrity. Another option is to solder the wires together. After all of the wires are connected and crimped, slide each of the small heat shrink tubes back over the connections and apply heat to the tubing. Slide the large heat shrink tubing back over the entire connection covering all the connected wires. Apply heat until the tubing has shrunk around all of the wire connections forming a watertight seal. 
Mount the electrical cable in a location as high as possible under the vehicle and secure with zip tie straps. With the trailer cable installed, mount the plug holder in a high location on the trailer frame. Choose a location that will be within easy reach yet not susceptible to being submerged in water. This holder has air venting holes and is not watertight. To insert the plug into the vehicle socket, remove the plug from the mounted holder pulling it straight out. Insert the plug into the socket on the vehicle and rotate it until the alignment index lines up for the connection. Check the operation of all lights and accessories before moving the vehicle. That's all there is to it. You may be asking yourself, what if I need to tow another trailer that has a conventional seven-way plug or use another vehicle with a seven-way plug to tow my trailer? That's where these easy connectors come in. You simply put the connector into your easy connector plug and it converts back to a conventional seven-way plug. With the easy connector plug, there are no more concerns about driving off with the cord connected, dirty or corroded connectors, or bent blades. The easy connector is safe, reliable, and easy to use, and it's the last plug you will ever need to buy. For more information on easy connector, visit www.easyconnector.com.